Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Okay, so as promised, we're going to follow up with... Um, Today's uh, latest, what would you call, what would you call this? A vlog? Is this a, a media update? Uh, this thing that we read earlier today, it's on Medium.com. Atari VCS's latest uh, word, word on the street, so to speak. Um, there are six videos attached to it. I promised we would get to that. Now, there's probably a really good chance I'm going to chop this up. Um, we don't necessarily need to see the whole thing unless there's something. That needs to be spoken about. It's just about, I guess, seeing people at home watch playing this thing. This is part of the uh, development team testing it out. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. There's six of these to get through. I've already watched one by mistake earlier this morning. A friend sent it to me. So let's uh, let's check it out and see what's let's see what's doing. All right, gameplay test. Alright, so I guess that's the game title. What's that the dude's name? Or it could be a lady. I don't know yet. I don't have the volume up too high because it would be wicked loud at your end. So. Oh, go back to Yaz Revenge. Yaz Revenge! Alright, this is all crap before we see you. Matt makes games. Good for you, Matt. Did you, make a game? Did you make this game for Atari? Whatever games about to be played, chime in down below. Is this something that we can get like on Steam or something? Um, Ant Stream, whatever. Whatever it is. Or am I actually looking at something that's exclusive or made for Atari GCS? So if that's the case, then I'll probably shut up half the time about everything I've been saying. A decent looking game. Ooh, the guy got dead. Where's Alex? Captain Obvious. He got dead. The music doesn't match the game. Huh, that's interesting. You know, there's one thing when a game's pixelated because that was the technology of the time. This isn't a goof on Atari. This is just the stylized version of this game. Um... But in a case like that where they make it pixelated, it always comes out looking fake. It's like that that digital video game Uncanny Valley. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, what the fuck was that? That was interesting. Alright, is there any more to this? Where are we where are we going? I told you. I'm probably going to chop this up because you don't need to watch it. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, Unsung Warriors. All right, get past the intro here. Yes, Yaz Revenge. All right, so this shows them using Unity. That's that thing that allows you to apparently play any game from any platform or something like that, or that configures your system to be able to... Uh, Get to the gameplay. We haven't seen the actual console yet, have we? Oh, there <laughs> Speak of the devil. Whoa, 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 Wait a minute. Fuck. Alright, I guess I'm not gonna pause it. That dude has a limited edition wood grain. Why the fuck does a tester, whether they're employees or not, have a wood grain limited edition? When there are tons of motherfuckers who actually paid to have that. Why doesn't he have a scratch dent model? Why doesn't he have an onyx? I'm calling bullshit on that. This, this game looks pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing exciting. Wait, is that wired still? Why is the controller wired? I was hoping this would answer questions. Not... Right. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 Is it going behind the machine, coiling it, and coming back up to plug into the front? Or is there a plug going into the machine that they just have falling over the edge in that... I'm not going to speculate that that's going into a different machine. Maybe if I had looked a little bit better when they had the, the zoomed out look, I'd be able to see it. Was that the uh, end? Yeah. Okay, so... So far, we've seen two retro-style games. Here's a basketball one. I can't imagine us watching this for too long. But if you see anything here that's um, not already available somewhere else, the two games that we just saw, I know this one is. I think I remember this game. Um, let me know. I really would like to know that there was something made specifically for what we're watching. So, all right, what are we doing here? Get to the basketball, kiddo. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm just going to keep doing this until we get to the gameplay. I guess that's all that's important. I mean, I know he's talking there. All right, so we know already that this is an older game. I mean, I knew that, but... The other two, I have no clue what they are. How about 2019? Well, 2020. <laughs> this fucking game. I take that back. I bet you these look pixelated because of the screen. Not because it was developed that way. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. So this is, it's funny, this kind of reminds me of something that would be on Super Nintendo. If Super Nintendo still kind of had a very updated version of second gen console graphics. It's like Super Nintendo and ColecoVision had a baby. Oh, which one's the bottom? You tell me which one the bottom is. Is it Super Nintendo? I bet you, I bet you Super Nintendo was the bitch. She likes purple. Because the ColecoVision is way too manly looking to be the bitch. All right, I'm not watching anymore. It's basketball, okay? Unless he goes somewhere else. Do we really need to watch him play basketball? No. We're just here to see if there's anything new. We're here to see about gameplay. All right, so this is something a little bit more, a little bit more modern, maybe to a lot of people's tastes. Borderlands 2, I know of the game. It's a, a pretty-looking console. I've never said it was an ugly console. Windows OS running on it, and the other I'm using for storage with my Steam okay. and Epic Games libraries. I've also plugged in a keyboard and a mouse and Atari VCS controller. This allows me to boot the Atari VCS as a PC and use it with any PC games or apps. In this case, we're going to demo playing some Borderlands. Okay. You know, I, okay, I'm not going to lie. I said something in my last video about him showing upgrades to the machine and then having to run something like this. And I don't know if it actually needs those upgrades to run this type of thing, which is what more people are probably going to want to play anyway. So if you can't do that out of the box, I'm kind of like saying boo on you, Atari. But I do want to take back. That's pretty. I do want to take back some of the things I was saying in my last video about how they shouldn't show this kind of stuff. I disagree with that now. I think it's okay that they're showing it. Because um, if you're going to demonstrate your product, uh, show what it's capable of doing, by all means. And now that we've seen it without upgrades, from what I understand, and now we're seeing it upgraded the way a tinkerer or whatever you hacker fucks would do, I think that's okay. The concern I'm having here, though, is do you have to do that to play this style of game, which is what I believe most people will be trying to do. And if you can't, then there's a problem. If all you could play are the games that were pretty much already shown, uh, retro style or reimagined games, or actual retro games, out of the box, I think the cost of this thing is a little, a little goofy for what it's supposed to be. 
Now, I know you're saying, all right, well, some of the Amicos are $300, too. Those ones are coming with value, and, it's, you know, it brings it back down to regular specs. But you're going into that knowing what you're getting. This is supposed to be the next super-duper machine that's going to play everything and, any, and blow your balls away and all kinds of stuff. And I get that you can upgrade it, and it's good to do that. But even at the lowest price point when you don't buy any controllers, if you can't play what it's supposed to generally play out of the box, I, I mean, I guess Atari Vault is what it's meant to play out of the box. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough, even though I pick on you, to know where I was going with that. So showing it being upgraded, I'm okay with that. Showing that you can only play these games while it's upgraded, I think we got a problem, another problem here. So let's watch this. I sat up watching this one. This one got sent to me earlier today, and then I realized it was part of this, so it stopped. But I kind of know what's going on. So let's see what he's got to say. We've also plugged in a mouse and a keyboard, although while we do gameplay, we're going to use our Atari modern controller. Right. I still want to know why the... The control is wired. Why? This is supposed to be wireless. That's a production unit. As far as I'm concerned, it's got wood grain. It's got everything in it. It's a production unit. That could be in the hands of a, of a person who's already paid for it. All right, so Call of Duty. We made a joke about this. Someone's like, I was talking about the Amico over at Intellivision Nation on Facebook, and they are like, yeah, but can I play Call of Duty? And I said, thank God, no. How funny. I wonder if this is what they were referencing. Look how fucking choppy that is. Oh, my God, that's horrible. But I was like, thank God, no. <laughs> Here we are with the, with the Atari VCS playing Call of Duty. I wonder if that's what they were referencing, because I, it's my understanding this email came last night. I didn't open it until this morning, so. All right, it seems to be running a little bit better. I'm going to fast forward a little here, just for the sake of, just for the sake of time. All right, let's watch him running around shooting things. It still seems a little choppy, but it looks better now. Doesn't seem as. <clears throat> I bet you that is so satisfying. This wouldn't hold my attention for long, though. That's a personal taste thing, I get. I can see why people sit down for hours and play mindless shit like this. It's just, it's the same thing over and over again, just a different look, you know? Different environment, different weapons, and different foes. I don't know. It's a genre all in itself. I suppose you could say the same thing about when platformers and fighters, you know, it's all the same thing, just a different skin. But at least, like, with platformers, they had their own thing. Like, Vector Man is nothing close to Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. They're both platformers. And you have to do pretty much the same kind of things, but I see these first-person shooters, and it's like, it's always the same exact fucking thing to me. I can't tell any of them apart. All right, so great. The Atari can play Call of Duty once you toss a whole shitload of fucking things onto it. And last, here it is playing Netflix and Disney+. Plus. If they start playing shows, I'm going to just stop this. I, I don't need no fucking copyright strikes. Streaming test. All right. Let's get to the streaming. We don't need to know how to get to it. Not yet, anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it just me, or is that a, a was that of a black face, or is it just really Dak? Because if that's the case, this is the same dude. Is it not? It's the same living room. Why does he have two units? This was supposedly during lockdown. See, it's going to be stupid shit like that that sets me off. Why does he have two units? Okay, the thing can stream. 
I'm not trying to, like I said, get copyright straight. Blah, 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 blah. Disney Plus. Let's watch The Mandalorian. No, 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 no. If I had my guitar here, I'd play the uh, theme to The Mandalorian for you. Yes. Star Wars and Atari go hand in hand. Rise of Skywalker. Nah, you've lost me, buddy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually one of those guys who think the Rise of Skywalker was okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All done. Thank Christ. <laughs> so what can we take away from this, kiddies? All right, we're going to go this view. I'm in my bedroom. I can't seem to get a connection good enough in the room I normally record in to have played those videos. Call it what you will. Maybe my router sucks. Maybe my walls are made of lead. You'll never know. Because I'll never tell. But we learned that he had a wood grain and an onyx, and that kind of aggravates me. Um, we learned that it could play retro style games until you upgrade it. We learned that Call of Duty runs a little choppy, and then you can watch the Rise of Skywalker on it. Or at least you can pull it up. We didn't actually watch him play it, so. But either way, um, let me know about the first two games. It's just something we can get anywhere. Uh, I've never heard of them, but that's. That should be surprising at all. Um, just kind of hoping they would say something like, "Okay, this is a new game that's being developed for, for the Amico." I mean, oh shit, my bad. Freudian slip for the Atari VCS. Um, nah, I don't know. I don't know what more to say about it. It, it, it. It's a thing. It's pretty, and when it's on clearance, I'll be more than happy to put one on my shelf. No lie, I will do that. But as it stands right now, I don't feel any different. I don't feel any different. I think uh, a little, little too late. Not enough identity. And it's not doing anything that impresses me personally. But hey, what are you going to do? So I asked you guys a question in the last video. And no one's answered except for one person who I know who hasn't even fucking put the money down. If you have, don't just come here to thumbs down because I'm talking bad about your machine. Use your fucking brain, dude. Then again, you probably aren't here anyway at this late stage of the video. But if you have put money down on this thing, how do you feel right now? I'm, be, I'm being honest and genuine in my, my, my thoughts and my feelings here. I want to know how you feel. How do you feel? Maybe I'll make a whole video on that so direction can be followed when it comes to responding to the question. But uh, I want to know how you feel. Are you, are you frustrated? Are you just okay? You calm about it? Are you ready to fucking kill? Anything in between? I'd be interested in knowing. Uh, so that was fun. We we watched a couple of videos of some dude doing things with with the thing. So oh, excuse me. Good time, guys. Go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creeps positive. Thank you always so much for watching. Go ahead and leave uh, leave your thoughts down below, even if you haven't paid. For this thing, let me know what you think of what we just watched here. And comment and question about anything that you feel is necessary to the conversation. Guys, I'm still raising money for the Alzheimer's Association. We may have killed that goal way too early because the walk isn't until September. But by all means, I am still accepting, or the Alzheimer's Association is still accepting donations. Right there, look at that. I wish I could just grab that and throw it in your fucking face. So it leaves a tattoo. So every time you look in the mirror, you're like, Alzheimer's walk. That's right. I need to share this link because I already gave him $300 in donation. Maybe I'll give him another $5 today because I'm feeling great. But that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about getting the link out there. Getting a few more donations here and there. A buck here, a buck there. I got a whole bunch of giveaways coming up. I got something on its way to me, which if we reach another financial milestone there, I will be giving both of them away gracious donation from an anonymous individual um very gracious donation and i have the overall big uh giveaway that everyone will be involved in and i'll announce that one here pretty soon guys i hope you're doing well i hope you had a lovely saturday it was a beautiful day here to get out and about and do your thing and um that's it guys until next time thank you always so much for watching please be well Take care, creep it real, you know all the deal, and bye-bye.